to our video of how to get Windows running on Mac OS. Now, there's two ways you can do it, guys. And, you know, in as you probably saw in a previous video, I love my Mac Pro devices. Um, and I can use Boot Camp to get Windows installed on them. However, what I have not shown you guys is you can get Windows installed through a virtual machine on Apple Silicon devices. Now, Apple Silicon does not support Boot Camp as of yet. There's rumors about the new Mac Pro that's going to be coming out, which could potentially allow us um, external GPU support, which should hopefully enable Boot Camp support as well. But, you know, you never know if Apple's going to do it. So there's a nice piece of software available from Parallels which is Parallels Desktop 18. This video is not sponsored by Parallels, just to let you guys know. So any savings and stuff that's going on right now, it's not them advertising um, through my channel. It's just a piece of software I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, as you guys can tell right now, Parallels Desktop 18, it's a yearly subscription that you pay. Uh, right now they've got offers going on. You can save £789. It's 90 quid. You get 14 apps. They say for free, but they're all subscription-based apps. You forget to unsubscribe, you're pretty much set to raw to renewal. So, is it worth getting Parallels Desktop? Yes, I got it for about £70 uh, that I pay yearly. And I use this piece of software every day in my uh, M1 Max MacBook Pro. And as you guys probably saw, I actually, instead of giving back my M2 MacBook Pro, um, M M2 Max MacBook Pro, I actually decided to keep. So guys, let's just go through some of the details on the website. So it's Windows on, Windows on ARM plus MacBook with M series chips. So M1, M2, all the variants of the M series chips and Parallels Desktop 18. It just allows us to install Windows 10 or 11 um, in a virtualized setup and guys this works absolutely fine no flaws no issues it just works out of the box now to be able to get parallels you just click on buy now um, and pay for the amount that's listed and boom you can straight away go in and and start virtualizing um in my instance i've already purchased it so i guys i'll go through the method of once you've bought parallels then get it installed onto your machine. So I've got a tab open right here. Um, if you go into your dashboard, it will tell you about all the information about your parallel desktop subscriptions, the access you have, um, and the toolboxes. So in my method, I'm going to be going back to home, going to be going to download product files, and then parallels desktop for Mac. So I just need to click on that, click on allow, and as soon as it's downloaded, guys, I will bring you bring back. up the uh, setup install type for Parallel Desktop. So you just need to double click on install, click open. It's going to start installing Parallels Desktop. It's going to obviously check for new software. You just need to accept and just type in your password, which I just have, and it should start initializing. So I've been a Parallels desktop user for a couple of years now um, and I've enjoyed it it's got better and better per update um, but yeah just on the screen we see now do we want it to allow to access our downloads folder yes we do and I would like notifications enabled now do I would like would I want to give permissions yes to the desktop so documents the download folder boom click finish and it's already got my details preloaded uh, for my account. So I just need to click on sign in. And it's obviously got my product license key. And I just need to click activate. And boom, the current copy of Parallels Desktop has been successfully activated. So I just need to click on OK. And straight away, guys, when download and install Windows 11. You need to install Windows 11 on your Mac to run Windows apps. So let's just click click on skip and we are now on the main install page for parallels so we have the ability to get windows 11 from microsoft so this will download windows 11 vm um, the windows 11 iso file 
Uh, we can even get a Windows 10. As long as it's an, it's an ARM image, we can get that and also install it. Um, we can download Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, uh, Kali Linux, um, or, and even Mac OS. So there's a lot of options available to us. Now, what our aim in this video is going to be installing the new version of Windows, which is Windows 11. So we just need to click on Get Windows 11 from Microsoft, click Continue, Install Windows, and then it's going to start requesting for the file. So as you can tell already, it's created a Windows 11 shortcut on our desktop. So now it's just downloading the file from, from Microsoft directly. So once this is done, guys, I'll show you guys what happens next. Through and downloaded Windows 11. The first couple of permissions come in again. So do we want to allow it to access the camera? Yeah, that's fine with me. And do we allow the microphone to be accessible? Yes, we do. Now, it then gives us the option if we want to install Parallels Toolbox. Now, guys, Parallels Toolbox is very important if you want to be using it in external monitors. Because I found this out the hard way when I did not install this. I found out that the virtual machine was not scaling properly um, on my 34 inch ultra wide so very important and i am going to install that right now again just takes a couple of minutes it's only 75 megs um so yeah i 100 percent recommend getting this installed even my windows vms were being weird my linux vms were being dodgy from start like fedora would glitch out all of a sudden um but yeah so just agree and it's just going to be installing the toolbox and boom there you go so that's done and it will put like a little icon at the top over here as you can tell let's just skip out of it let's allow yep got it go away there you go cool done and there you go Windows 11, it's already installed. So, it looks pretty cool. It looks really nice. It's checking for updates. The one I... I've not really installed a Windows 11 VM. I've obviously installed a Windows 10 VM and then just upgraded. Um, so, it'll be interesting if it's going to ask me to create a local account. Or, I believe, Parallels just skips everything for you. Um, which I do hope that is the case. It usually does that one. I like to run Windows 8.1 as a VM all the time on my Intel machines, which I can't seem to do because there's no Windows 8 ARM version available as a virtual machine. But yeah, guys, so it's just, again, checking for updates. Wait a minute. Hi. Yeah, so there you go. So it's already, I believe, skipped past everything in terms of what the virtual machine would 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 do with parallels which is great guys this saves you so much more time um and it just skips past all the microsoft bs that's usually installed or you not install the usual microsoft bs steps that you have to go through um it's just taking a couple of minutes it's doing so as soon as this is finished guys i will cut back into the virtual machine now said so installation has been complete so click to continue and it's already made in full screen and guys, it's already scaled the correct resolution that I would like. So press accept. Perfect. Yep, there you go. Finally, it let me accept. And obviously the first page is gonna say is Windows 11 is installed successfully. So let's just crash out of it. So guys, there's Windows 11. Let's press the window, let's press the command key and of course it brings up the Windows uh, search so let's just have a look at this machine specification so i believe it is about your pc activate windows now let's just close that for now and yeah there you go so it already says eight gigs of ram it pre-installed um i believe the drive is on a scaled version so if Windows needs more storage space. It definitely well, it definitely can. I've got two terabytes on this Mac, so it, it doesn't make too much of a difference. 64-bit operating system, ARM-based processor, so obviously recognizes that. Um, Apple Silicon 3.2 gigahertz, four processors has been assigned. 
Um, and then obviously if I want to activate the product and store all stuff like that. So I will definitely do that and then show you the other features. So, but one key thing, guys, is it says it here, Parallels Arm Virtual Machine, which is quite interesting. Now, what do we do if we want to give this virtual machine higher specs? And guys, again, it's super easy. All we need to do is, first of all, just shut the virtual machine down like you would normal Windows. So shutting down, boom. Then all we need to do is right click on Parallels and click on Control Center. So now you see Windows 11, the virtual machine. All we need to do is click on the little clock wheel, the settings icon, and click on hardware. And here you can configure. So it's automatically configured four CPUs, four core CPUs, eight gigs of RAM, um, and up to four gigabytes of graphics. If I click on advance, um, it gives me the option to do adaptive hypervisor. But if I did manual, I can give it six, I can give it eight, or I can give it other. So if I give it an eight processor, straight away it tells me I need to upgrade to pro. So I am not doing that. I am continuing with standard. Um, and then of course, again, it gives me options to give more memory to the virtual machine as well. So there's all the shenanigans right there. Um, that's one thing I really don't like about Parallels anymore. It's now started to block all of these memory options. Um, it never used to do this before. I used to use 16 gigs of RAM as my memory and processor as up to um, up to eight cores. So it's it's annoying, but it is what it is, guys. It's it's the route that they've now started to take. Um, you may also realize that the TPM chip that is also uh, enabled when creating a Windows 11 VM, which is uh, pretty neat. It bypasses, obviously, the TPM requirement that Windows 11 has <laughs> decided to force down people's throat. So that's where you'll be able to um, customize the machine, stuff like hard disk. There you go, disk capacity is 256. Um, but this would change as the machine gets more larger and larger. Um, but yeah, so if I just close the padlock, go back, I'm happy with what it is. And easy as, easy as lemon, guys, it's just literally just click on the plus icon. Virtual machine boots up. Instant. Very instant. And then just log me straight in. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's neat. It works. And guys, it's just that easy to get a Windows 11 virtual machine up and running.